on to an issue that is sparking heated reaction. Denmark is set to vote on banning circumcision, which would make it the first country in the world to do so. Many Danish lawmakers are still undecided about the issue, but polls reveal that 86% of all Danes support a ban. The proposal is causing heated debates in the country, with the Jewish community in particular criticizing the potential move. Well, for more details on this developing story, our correspondent Jotam Konfino is here in studio. Jotam, you of course are Danish and you've been following keenly the developments in this situation. Talk to us about the people who are in favor of the ban. What is their argument? Let's start with what the doctors, the nurses and the health officials are saying because there's a long list of those health officials that are coming out against circumcision and it's strictly from a professional uh, viewpoint. They're saying it's an outdated religious ritual, it's an unnecessary medical procedure and they're also uh, slamming really the procedure in general how it's being conducted because currently you can circumcise with local anesthesia and they're arguing that in order for such a uh, such an operation to take place the baby needs to be in full anesthesia and that is something that is not being done currently so this long list of doctors and health officials are really sp uh, sparking the debate but also helping those who are actually against it and that is of course just citizens in general those 86 percent who are against circumcision and of course the jewish and muslim communities are concerned one can understand why how are they responding what are they saying so the jewish community in particular has been very vocal in their criticism uh, the head of the jewish community has said this is the biggest tragedy to happen to danish jews since the world war ii obviously uh a bit of a controversial statement, but nevertheless, this is what a lot of Jews actually feel. They think that this is something that will take away their Jewish identity. And what is interesting here is that actually, uh, when you look at the debate here, it's not only the health prof pro uh, professionals that are coming out against this, it's also lawmakers. A few lawmakers are actually now starting to, to support these 86% of Danish uh, people who are against it. And a lot of them are saying that it's basically borderline mutilation and that the child has no say in this. They're trying to protect the, ch the children's rights, basically. Obviously, the minorities, Muslims and Jews, are saying this is not up to you. The, our kids, that's our business, basically. And especially the Jewish community has been very vocal in their criticism. And as you say, with 86% of Danes in favor of the ban, why are political stakeholders playing it so safe? Why is it that they're not actually taking a stand right now? It's very interesting. A few parties have come out and said they will support this legislation when it is being voted on, but the major parties, the two major parties, haven't said anything about their stance. It is expected that they will likely vote against it. It's still not decided yet, but 86% of all Danes supporting such a ban and lawmakers basically not knowing what to do really shows that this is a very contentious issue and the lawmakers are very, very scared of ostracizing these minorities, that is the Muslims and the Jews, of course. Certainly will be interesting to see how this all unfolds. Thank you so much for your insight, correspondent Jotam Confino. We appreciate that update.